What's up? What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm a Pi Princess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Thanks to everybody for all the love and support to the channel. We're 12,390 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support. Love you guys so much. Just saying, just saying. Um, if you like to donate, it's Pi Princess to Roll Five. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. I do not publicly display. Um, your name if you donate through my PayPal for privacy and confidentiality purposes. Um, appreciate all 12,390 of you guys. I really, really do. I do. I do. All right. So I received a channeling in. Um, oh, and thanks to the person that donated the fairly large donation today. Um, thanks so much. I appreciate that. I put that towards um, getting new appliances. So thanks so much. I really appreciate that. Um, just to let you know. Um, you know who you are. Okay, so um, I received a channel message in, so I'm going to um, deliver it. I hope everybody is doing well. I do, I do, I do. Who? Okay. So the channel message I received was um, um, someone that has stolen money from you, some in plain sight is what I heard. So some whoever this message resonates with, obviously they have stolen physical monetary money for you from you, and some of them are in plain sight in plain sight meaning i think they work with you or they are your neighbors or they are family members they're in plain sight meaning i think you're around them in some shape form or fashion so i'm feeling co-worker energy i'm feeling neighbor energy and i'm feeling toxic family energy um or lover energy it could be lover energy too that's why i don't have a lover or a boyfriend or what have you because i know how people can be just for real, for real. Um, but however that applies is what I'm trying to say. I feel it can go, like I said, neighbor energy, current neighbor energy, current co-worker energy, um, toxic family energy, or like current lover energy. For some, it could be former lover energy. But however that resonates, they have stolen monetary money from you. I mean, physical money from you. Um, and I heard some are in plain sight, so we went over what I thought that could be. Um, I heard um, basically... Um, it is about to energetically backfire on them in the form, some in the form of medical illnesses. And I heard specifics on that. I heard some, um, some foot ulcers. Then I heard diabetic. So y'all know I'm RN. I've been an RN licensed since 2013, practicing since 2014. So if it is an ulcer on your foot and you were and diabetic or diabetic, it's a diabetic ulcer. So any kind of anything not correct with one's foot if you're a diabetic is not good that's why they recommend special diabetic foot, foot care and the ulcers are really really bad if you're a diabetic really bad because it can turn into much 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 worse things so whoever this is for i feel they were already a diabetic or pre-diabetic well i'm feeling diabetic full-blown diabetic energy they're about to uh it sounds like they're about to develop a diabetic Foot, foot ulcer and let me tell you those are some nasty 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 ass things um it lead it can it can lead to much worse things um i'll just give you a personal example my uncle which he's been passed away a very long time he passed away when i was a child i'm 38 years old now he passed away when i was like 10 10 years old he was a diabetic he was a very 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 large man and a diabetic and he ended we went to the um to the um river one summer when i was down in louisiana visiting him he de he developed a diabetic foot ulcer within i think within a year or two he passed away and he was only in his 40s when he passed away true story so i didn't hear this person was going to pass away i just heard they're going to develop a diabetic foot ulcer but my point is it can develop that quickly as a diabetic especially if you don't have your um, diabetes under control um so whoever this person is um, and how they apply in your life. That's one one situation I heard. The other one, I heard they're about to become a diabetic. Um, and it will be very, 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 um, it will not be under control. That's what I heard. So we've got somebody I feel is already a diabetic that stole money from you. And they're about to, it sounds like, develop, develop a diabetic foot ulcer. I heard foot ulcer diabetic. So, I mean, a diabetic foot ulcer. I don't know how big it's going to be. But diabetic foot ulcer, just saying, just saying. That's for situation one. I feel they're already a diabetic. 
for situation two, I heard they're about to become a diabetic and it's about to be very, very, very out, uncontrolled. So I don't feel they're co properly controlling their diet with um, the, the food they eat. They're not properly controlling it through diet means. Um, I heard it's going to become out, uncontrolled. So, I mean, I feel they're going to have to get on oral medication or insulin, like subcutaneous insulin injections, or maybe a mixture of both. But I mean, it sounds like the blood sugars or blood glucose levels are going to be out of freaking control. Whoever that's for for situation two. I mean, these are serious medical conditions. Diabetes is not anything anybody ever wants. Um, but you have to take positive steps in your life to try to prevent it too. These people, they not only stole money from you, but they're out of control with their eating, it sounds like, and their intake. And I'm just being for real. Situation three. I heard, uh, oh shoot, hold on, hold on. I forgot it. Let me remember it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I heard COPD. That's what I heard, COPD. Um, now, anybody doesn't know COPD is chronic obstructive um, pulmonary disorder. So it's a lung disorder. It's a uh, it's this very serious lung, pulmonary lung disorder. Very serious. Um, CO, I wouldn't wish diabetes or COPD or any anything upon anybody. I, not even my worst enemy. But I don't know if they are a smoker. Um, I feel maybe some of these people are smokers. Um, they may, Some may not be. Some may have been exposed to some kind of chemicals or something that caused the COPD or they're around secondhand smoke or they are a smoker, but somehow COPD is in one of these people. Um, there's at least three people in the universe that has stole from you. For some of you guys, one, one of these people may apply. For some, two plus may apply. For some of you guys, maybe none apply. But we've got somebody that's already diabetic, about to develop a diabetic foot ulcer. Somebody's about to become diabetic. I feel they were already pre-diabetic and I mean, they're not obviously not controlling their diet properly. And three, COPD. That's pulmonary, that's lungs, that's yikes. Just saying, just saying. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. But it's negative karma because they stole money from you. And some of these people are in plain sight of you. They're in plain sight. So you deal with them on a regular 3D in the regular 3D realm, everyday world we live in, in some shape, form, or fashion, whoever you are and how this applies. For one, it's a um, very, very, very serious warts. Very serious, uncontrollable warts. Some vaginal areas, some penis. They're about to have a severe decrease in sexual partners because of this. It's about to piss them off. Oh, oh my God. Ew. And some is STD related. So it sounds like uh, it's warts. It's warts. Oh, oh my God. Oh. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, ew. Oh, Lord. Okay. So warts, I heard some that. So that's at least two people in the universe. <coughs> Excuse me. It's at least two people in the universe. One severe vaginal warts, one severe penile warts. I heard it's going to be so bad. It's uncontrollable, I heard. It's going to be uncontrollable. So, I mean, I don't know. I've never had warts anywhere on my area ever, nor do I want them. Um, but I heard it's going to be uncontrollable, and it's going to decrease their sexual partners. It's going to piss them off. So they're obviously very sexually active. Um, they obviously, I think they are attractive. And they are very sexually active. Um, they know they're attractive. But it sounds like they've, they've obviously acquired STD. They've acquired warts, just for real, for real. <laughs> um, but it's not just one wart or two warts. And, you know, get the medication and then go away. I heard it's going to be uncontrollable. So I, I don't know if this person or people, well, it sounds like one at least one femme and one masculine in the universe. I don't, hopefully they go get treatment, but it. I mean, it doesn't sound like a little case is what I'm saying. It sounds like it is going to be ward after ward after ward after ward after ward. Like, for example, if this is a penis, ward after ward after ward after ward. I mean, just like a plethora of warts on the penis. Ew. 
Oh my God, that is so gross. There's a, a cork a screw over there in the um, holder. I can do it when I get off here if you want me to. Okay, I'll look when I get off here. Okay. Um, yeah, it, it's gross. And the same for the JJ. Ew, just saying, just saying. Um, yikes. I heard it's going to severely decrease their sexual partners. So, they're, like I said, I feel whoever this masculine and femme are, at least one of each in the universe. For some of you guys, it could be two plus cases of these people. Um, they um, they love to have sex. And it sounds like with many partners. Um, and it's going to piss them off because they're not going to have um, much um, choice with their sexual freeness. Because nobody's going to want to have sex with them when they see all these nasty warts in their vaginal area or their penile area. And I'm just being for real. It's just, that's nasty. And one's going to have a serious, serious accident Pl playing around. Broken bone. We'll have to have surgery. Okay, I'll be there in a minute, okay? The so you plug it in, it resonates. And one's going to have a serious um, accident playing around. So I think horse playing or physical athletics, or maybe they're on a ball team. Maybe they coach kids athletics in some shape, form, or fashion. Or maybe they're just playing around in the yard with some kind of horse play or athletic activity or what have you. But however that resonates, I heard it's going to be a broken bone. So like a broken freaking bone. So I don't know if it's a humerus, a femur, a tibia, a fibia. I'm not sure. But some kind of broken bone energy. Um, and the recovery will not be well. Um, so several other medical conditions will be discovered. And the recovery will not be well. Several other medical conditions will be discovered. So they stole all this money from you. For whoever this is for, I feel it's a lot of money they stole. And for, like I said, for some, they're, they're in your everyday 3D world. Like, they're brave as fuck. They're in your everyday fucking 3D world. Talk to you. Work with you in your neighborhood, in your family, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But yet they know they stole this money from you. But they're about to get negative pharma. I mean, whatever category they fit in, whether they're already a diabetic, about to become a diabetic, about to break a bone or bones, um, or about to um, um, get some kind of warts, mask on our fam. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, that's gross. The, the warts is just gross. Um, but for this, uh, the broken bone energy, I heard um, several other medical conditions are going to be discovered. It sounds like um, uh, maybe uh, pre-op or post-op. I'm not sure. Um, and it'll, it sounds like it's going to be a slow um, recovery process is what it sounds like. Because other things are going to be discovered. So you plug it in how it resonates. Thank you. That's crazy. Oh, please season it. Ooh. Mm -hmm. He's sleeping, Gavin. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Don't move, Gavin. Sorry, you guys. Stay over there until I turn this off. Let me see if I hear anything else. And someone's children is are, is about some one child, some two plus children are about to steal from them and steal a very, very, very large amount of money. Very large amount. For some of these people, it's more money than they stole from you. Oh my gosh. You plug it in how it resonates. Okay. And somebody, and, oh my gosh, there's so many situations in here. So. You plug it in how it resonates. I apologize about that. 
he knows how to get in the camera. Dang it. Um, so somebody's, I mean, okay, so they're thieves. It's at least five people in the universe that's thieves. I feel for some of you guys, they worked as a group and they split the money. That's what I feel. There's so many situations popping up in here, and I'm just being real. I didn't hear it was a group situation, but I feel for some of it is because there's so many people. And for some of you guys, I feel they're in freaking plain sight, man. I heard they were in plain sight. So, I mean, they they are buddy, buddy, frenzy, frenzies to you in the 3D world. But yet, they have no empathy, no sympathy, narcissistic, sociopathic energy to steal from your ass. But they're about to get negative karma in the universe for it. Um, karma never misses an address. Um, but some of the, okay, so they're thieves. But some of these people have one, some, one child, I heard, some two plus children. And so their children are about to steal, child or children are about to steal from them. Okay, I'm getting. Come on, baby. They want to give you some steak. <laughs> Um, yeah. Um, so the pattern is, is coming down generations. I mean, well, what do they expect? They're thieves. I mean, for some of them, they could know that their parents are thieves. For some of them, I mean, for some, they may not know. But, I mean, what do they expect? It's obviously in the genes, and that's just for real. Um, I mean, I'm not going to lie. My, my kids have sold for me before, like 10 bucks or 20 bucks. But you better believe I punished the hell out of them. And do they steal from me now? Hell no. Because they know better. Because mama nipped that in the bud. For real, for real. Um, because I don't steal from others, and I don't expect anybody to steal from me. And that's just the truth, and my children know that. But whoever these people are, they can't even, if they said that to their children, they'd be fucking hypocrites. And that's just the truth. Because in reality, they've stolen from your ass. You know what I'm saying? At least I know I have a clear conscience when I talk to my kids. I don't go around stealing from folks. And that's the truth. You know what I'm saying? But... It's, I feel it's at least two people in the universe because I heard one has one child, one has two or two plus children. But they're about to um, steal from them. I heard for some of them, they're about to steal a larger amount of money. I heard they're about to steal a very large amount of money. But the amount of money they're about to steal for some of them is so large, it's a larger amount of money than they stole from you. And I feel physical money here. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. You want money. I got it. I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah. So, you plug it in, how it resonates. I mean, that's that's sad. That's really, really sad. But it's their negative karma because they shouldn't have sold from you. And that's the truth. You know what I'm saying? I honestly don't have sympathy for this because no one should steal from anybody, period, point blank. And that's the truth. Um, I, what is that going off? Is that the oven? Spirit messages. Do you have the pluses? Oh, yeah. Anxiety reverse, appreciation upright. Number 18 or 15 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Um, number 15 or 18 could be very significant numbers maybe in these thieves' lives or your life. Um, I feel for some, the... The number 15 or 18 could be possible ages of these thief children, uh, child or children, that these um, thief adults are raising. And I'm serious about that for some of them. Thank you. Um, I'm serious because we have 15 and 18. We're pulling up thief children. I don't think it's a two-year-old go around sp uh, stealing 2,000 bucks. I'm serious. So I feel for some of these thieves, adult thieves that have stole from you, past energy, they, I feel for some, they have a 15-year-old or 18-year-old, and they're about to steal from their ass. I heard a very, very, very large amount of money, and I'm serious. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. For one, the hypertension is about to get severely out of control. Medications is not even going to be able to control it. Okay, I heard for one, the um, hypertension is about to get so severely out of control, even medications will not be able to control it. Um, there's a lot of medical conditions in here. I mean, good gravy, we're at 20 minutes, we're still going. So, 
I feel like I said, I said earlier, for some, I feel a damn group toll from your ass. And I'm serious. Um, whoever these people are um, and how it resonates. But one of them, I heard that it's, it's severe hypertension is about to get so out of control. Even medications are not going to be able to control it. So I feel for whoever that's for, this thief that stole from you that's about to have severe uncontrollable hypertension, I feel they've probably been on hypertension medication for a long time um, for some, or they uh, have had severe hypertension and have re refused medication, um, and now they're going to try to get on medication, and it's just so uncontrolled. However that applies, um, every, you know, everybody's situation is different. You plug it in how it resonates. And one is on bipolar medication, and they're about to realize they're about to have to get on another medication. It's going to cause horrible side effects. Okay, and one is on bipolar medication, and they're about to realize they have to get on another medication. And it's about, to, it sounds like the other medication is about to cause severe side effects. So, um, so there's somebody that has bipolar. Now, I don't know if they have bipolar type 1 or 2. Um, I didn't hear that specifically in here, but somebody has bipolar that has stolen you. I don't know, if, like I said, I don't know if it's type 1 or type 2. Um, it sounds like they're currently on medication, but I heard they're about to have to get on another medication. But the other medication, I didn't hear what medication it was, but the other medication they're about to have to get on, and it sounds, obviously that hasn't happened yet in the universe. Um, I heard it's going to cause severe negative side effects. So you plug it in how it resonates, man. This is terrible. So anxiety reversed. These people are pissed you do not need them. And they know they have stole from you. Some they know you know they have stole from you. Oh my lord, you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. Um, so these people are pissed that um, you don't need them, basically. So you're very independent, self-sufficient. You do for yourself. Uh, take care of you. Some you might have child or children. Take care of you. Take care of your kids, etc., etc. You're very self-sufficient. You're very independent. These people are very codependent, obviously. So bad that they had the audacity and gall to steal money from you. They're very materialistic, one. And two, they're very codependent. And three, they're just, they're criminals. Um, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, but I heard basically they, um, they're pissed because, um, you are very independent and they basically want you to want them, to need them. So they want to make you codependent. And I think that's why a lot of these people stole from you because they were trying to make you codependent. They were trying to take everything and leaving you begging like a beggar, but it's energetically boomerang back on them. It's backfired on them. So they're, and now they're pissed. So I feel you, we have anxiety reversed. So I feel this is your energy. You are, um, you don't have, you don't have anxiety about this. I heard for some, you know, these people have stole from you. So however you have learned, they have stole from you. Everybody's life situation is different. I'm not sure. I don't know if police is investigating this or you have found it out from somebody else or what have you. But somehow, at least for one of you guys, you know, somebody in your plain sight, for some, some maybe not in your plain sight, have stole from you. Um, you're not stressed about it. You're not anxious about it. You're not worried about it. Yeah, it sucks to be sold from. I mean, hell, trust me, I know. Um, but, um, you're not worried about it. You're not stressing about it. And it pisses them off because you're not worried and stressed about it. Well, you know, it's what it is. They shouldn't have done what they did. Appreciation. Some of these people are current co-workers and they are pissed at how the customers really love you. Some patients. Oh my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. Some of these people are current co-workers and I heard they basically are pissed at some of um, that the customers really love you for some of you guys and for some the patients really love you so the this is appreciation of your patients or your customers for some i feel you could work in customer service or retail or marketing or promotions or something of that nature 
whatever involves customers. Um, for some, I heard patients. So that's definitely healthcare energy. Uh, but your patients really love you or your customers really love you. So this is appreciation from your customers or patients in your uh, workplace situation, how that resonates for you and how that applies. This is your energy, um, which is beautiful energy, but they're pissed. I heard for some, they are current coworkers. So they work with you currently in the energetic space and they have had the gall and audacity to steal from your ass. How, what big balls is that? I hope you catch their ass and you call the police on their ass and have them arrested. I'm serious about that because that is some horrible, horrible, horrible shit. You plug it in, how it resonates. But for some, like I said, you obviously work in the healthcare sector. For some, you work in, um, I feel, customer service or retail or marketing or promotions or, um, or something of that nature where you have customers. Some customers, some um, patients. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, but I don't think you have an anxiety. I, th I think you like your job. Um, for, I, I mean, we're pulling in heavy coworker energy. So for some, it is straight up coworkers. I heard some of them, they're in plain sight. So that would make sense. I gave you examples of what I thought it could be earlier. I mean, that would make complete sense. Co coworkers are in plain sight. Um, and that's just the truth. For one of these situations, a coworker will be called out very publicly soon and they will be arrested and then fired through many series of chain of events. Oh my Lord, wow, holy crap. I heard in one of these situations, a coworker will be called out, called out very publicly. They will be arrested um, and fired. And um, so how that resonates? You either know this coworker has stole from you, already know on the current energetic space if this resonates for you, or you're about to find it out. We have the patient's card underneath that with a strategy. So I think you, some you do know this coworker has already done it. Some you do know, some I think you're about to find it out. However, that resonates. Um, some I feel you already know, some I feel you're about to find it out. But you're about to be patient and formulate a strategy. I think. Um, once you find out or you already know, either you know now or you're about to find out, but how that resonates, you're about to formulate a strat, have patience and formulate a strategy once you find out this current coworker has done this for at least one of you guys. And I think the strategy in this case is telling your boss, or you may be the boss in some of these situations, and contacting the police and having their ass arrested and then having a fire. That's exactly what I think, whether you're a boss or whether you are not a boss. Um, however that resonates in one's life. Good, kudos to you. Kudos to you. And then we have hostilities under it. Yeah. And deceit. Oh, my God, you can't make this crap up. Number 16, 21, 26, or 25 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 16, 21, 26, or 25. Um, they're about to be pissed when they get exposed. Um, we're pulling in, um, and they've been lying to you and stealing from you. Um, some it's coworkers, some it's kids, some people have already currently already sold from you and they're about to develop medical conditions. I mean, we've got a lot going on in here. So you have to plug it in your own life, how it resonates, if it resonates for you. Um, but they're about to be pissed because they have lied to you. They have stole from you. The deceit energy is the stealing energy and the lying and the nicey, 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 nicey sins to your face, basically. But stealing money from your ass. I mean, how petty and nasty is that? That's the lowest of the fucking low. And I mean, I'm serious. Wow. Let me see if I hear anything else. And one particular person that intuitively knows a group stole from them is about to find out some of the members of the group that has stolen from them from a very loyal person soon. It, it's about to form a bond between you and this loyal person. They're about, about to really go out on a limb because they know they can trust you and they are right, they can. You are going to create very negative series of chain events for this group. You have helped this loyal person out and they know you are loyal and true. Oh my gosh, so you, well, that's great for at least one of you guys. Um, so for one of you guys, you intuitively know a group has stole from you. 
um, you intuitively know it. So you have high intuition. So nobody's told you in the physical 3D, but you know it inside yourself because you have high intuition. It looks beautiful. Wait, Thank you. you mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Just make sure it's properly seasoned, okay? Okay. Um, you intuitively know a group is stolen from you, but nobody's told you in physical 3D. But some, you have helped out somebody in your life. Um, it sounds like current energetic space. So I don't know if this is a coworker. I don't know if it's a neighbor. I don't know if it's a family member. I don't know if it's a, um, uh, somebody in your community. It's somebody, I feel, I feel in your current energetic space. I heard they know you're very loyal and they know you're true and you have helped them out. And they're basically about to pay it forward to you and give you information on, I heard members of this group that have stole from you. Um, because they know you basically won't go around telling folks that you told them is what I'm feeling. Um, and you have helped them out in some shape, form, or fashion in the past, so I think that's how they're about to pay it for you. Um, so that could be the patience in the strategy to try strategy too. This person is about to this person is about to help you out, but they know you're not going to go around blab to other people that you have told them the information. But yet they want to give you the information so you can basically bust these assholes, um, which is the way it should be. I heard it's going to form a strong bond between you and this person. Um, as for some, I feel you might already have a bond with this person, but I feel it's going to get stronger, um, which is good, which is really, really good. I heard they know you're true and loyal, and um, they know basically you're not going to go around blabbing that they told you, basically. Um, which is good, which is good. Like I said, I feel you already have a bond with this person, but I feel it's going to get a lot stronger once this occurs because they're about to help your ass out in a huge way with this information. I feel for some, you might go to the police or you might sue their ass. Um, however you choose to handle this. Um, maybe both for some. You plug it in how it resonates. And I feel the person that you've helped out and, um, and they know they can trust you and they know you're loyal and true. Um, I think they're about to relieve anxiety by telling you this. And they're about to show their appreciation to you by telling you this. This is exactly what I think. I, I heard you've helped them out in some shape, form, or fashion. So I think, I mean, you have truly helped them out in some way. Um, and they're about to pay it forward to you and show their appreciation to you. This is beautiful. Um, I mean, I, I can't say I don't feel sorry for these people that are about to get this negative karma because they shouldn't have ever stole the money from you. I hate thieves. For anybody who doesn't know me personally, I hate thieves. I don't steal from other people. I don't expect other people to steal from me or anybody else. I just, I hate thieves. Anybody that knows me knows that. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I don't care who you are, what religious or non-religious calling you are, what whether you're religious or spiritual or um, brown or white or dark or what race you are or what age you are or what spiritual preference or non-spiritual preference you are a thief is a thief is a thief is a thief is a thief period point blank i cannot stand thieves i can't i think whoever's about to help you out can't stand thieves either and i'm serious about that kudos to the person about to do this if you're the person about to do this to this person that knows information on this group because I feel you could be the person about to help out the person that knows information on this thieving group. I feel you could be the person about to get the information on this thieving group. I feel you could be somebody that's about to see these manifestations happen in the 3D with all these thieves and all these medical conditions with the STD wards and the diabetes and the broken bones and the surgeries and all this crap. I mean, you the, th the kids stealing from the uh, parents more money than they took from you. I mean, you plug it in how it resonates. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. So sorry it was so long, but I just kept getting downloads in. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Love you guys so much. Namaste.